This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Matt Cleans, Jim Marbella. With me, I've got Anthony Joshua, MBE. We're here at uh, Tower Hill today for the press conference of the O2 card. Moment of truth. What's happening, Big Ant? All good. Um, it's only last year. Well, not last. Yeah, last year when I signed my professional contract to uh, make my headline October the 5th. I'm back here now talking about October the 11th. A lot's happened, but um, first and foremost, I've got a fight in two weeks Just going to come on to that. Yeah. Constantine Ulrich. Correct, yeah. You guys will be familiar with him from his prize fighter experiences yeah. as well. Yeah, so um, he's an experienced guy, tough guy. Um, he's had a lot of time to prepare, so have I. And um, this is my first time in Manchester fighting as well, so that's, that's a bonus. So I'm looking forward to getting out in Manchester, mingling with the people and um, putting on a good show. All things go ahead well. You've already got your next fight scheduled in. Looking at your first title as a professional heavyweight boxer as well. Yeah, man. It must be exciting. Almost a year to the day as well. Yeah, it's, I, I kind of like see it as like when I was an amateur, you know, fighting for my first ABA championship and so on and so forth. And that's the kind of route I try and mentally keep in my head that I'm just doing the same as an amateur. Don't put too much pressure on myself. WBC International, ABA title, so on, GB, European world and Olympics and these are just the stages I've got to take and I've done it once as an amateur and I feel I can do it as a professional so I just understand the process that Eddie's taking me through. How dangerous is Dennis back off looking at his KO percentage he's got he's a bit of a banger isn't he? Um, who ain't a banger at heavyweight everyone's got power behind them at heavyweight that's what the heavyweight division is about but it's who's uh, slick who's crafty who hits and don't get hit and um, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna be there to let Dennis uh, knock me out so might go the distance or he might get knocked out. How was your training camp with the Klitschko's? Um, well, the Klitschko's invited me to the training camp. I was there as a sparring partner. But I think physically I do a lot here. I get mentally prepared here. I have some great training here. But there's nothing like going out to, uh, to Austria with the champ and I gained valuable experience because me, I'm someone who likes to soak up knowledge. I asked him 101 questions, you know, and um, he gave me every answer I asked. So all respect to the champ. and. Uh, Mentally, I'm in a good place. Was there any truth to rumours that you could have fought Audley Harrison when he comes out? It would be um, profile increased. I'll be honest with you, you have to speak to my promoter, you know. Um, I've got September 13th on my mind and anything else besides that isn't really relevant. All right, well listen, this whole today being transfer deadline, Phil, I think it's only fitting we've got you outside of the car. <laughs> Is there any last minute transfers you want to tell me about before there's we definitely go? Definitely no fucking transfers <laughs> going on here. Look, there's no transfers going on here, let me tell you. There's no, tra oh. there's no transfers going on, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm safe. I'm uh, trying to become a matrim legend. Oh, listen, good answer. Good yeah. answer. I've Lovely got a little stuff. bit of pressure on my shoulder. Well, just in case. No, that's a binding contract for life. Well, that's very good. <laughs> that's about, uh, IFL, always a pleasure, man. Thank you. Stay hungry. You know it's about. We film stuff. See you soon. Thanks, Thanks for your sir. time, big guy. Thank you, yeah. Ed, see you later, mate. Well done. Are you going to be out there? Right? I, I might be down later on tonight, and then we'll have a bit of lunch later. In the